Hello, John Dilworth here. We are animating on scene 129, progressing. So we want to get, I want to get from this pose to that pose, right here to here. And so this is how I'm thinking about doing it. Um, whoopsies, let's turn this off so you can get an, ah, so you get an idea. So I'm concentrating here. If I can get his torso, not his torso, his pelvis into position here, that will be my primary interest to getting the rest of him here. So I thought we just, why don't we try it? And this is stuff I love, right? Whoopsies. So I've already done that part. So this foot goes up, and so the next one, I want it to go down, right? So it's right here. Let's just put this in rough, like, oopsies. I want, I want blue. I like in these colors. Right, with paper, it was always a light blue pencil underneath for me, and then I would, and then red, and then clean up. Okay, so that foot's down. And then my little pelvis, of, let me see, let's get his little thing here. And of course it goes down and that's there. And then this one is up. And this is a sort of shorthand um, because of the time. So the limited time we have to pull this stuff off we have to invent shortcuts in action. So let's see. I want his foot here. Oh, it's so exciting. And this, and I'll tighten up. I will tighten these lines up when, let's see, he's, he's down. Oh, I've got him down already. That's really interesting. So let me do this. So there's always, he goes down, so I'm gonna give him a, just a little bit of energy to go down. So he pops back up. And it's not an original theory, but it seems to be pleasing to the eyeball. Ah! I've hurt my, I've hurt my back. And sitting is a problem. But this is what happens when you live long enough. Things mostly work. You'll find out. Okay, let's try some. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's like a little frog. Hold on. Let me do something to give us a little more context. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> Let me. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I like that. I like that a lot. So there it is. I'm going to write, and this I'll do here, and give him a little hold. And that's that's Jim, by the way. I mean, this is Jim. He's transformed already, and he's looking towards these dog catchers that are off camera. So I so that works out well. So what's the next thing we're going to do? Let's let's move his body, right? Let's see what let's see what this kid's got. What's that? Let me see. Hold on. I just have to do some things here. Don't worry. Okay, his body. So here it is. So this is just pieces. Is all is all it is is pieces. So it's going up and three hairs I've counted them so everything's consistent and checking the volume keeping an eye on that volume and and then you could always whoopsies you can always noops where is it this one yeah it's that one okay so yeah so that that, that looks okay. All right, so let's go to the next one. 
Let's go to the next one. Hold on, I just have to make sure I know what I'm doing here. Hold on, what did I do? Right, so this one. Right, so. So that's a nice shape. You know, you think about shapes when we're designing characters, and the sim, you know, I hate to say simple, but we want to be able to draw and fairly quickly. And if it's a big production, you want. Maybe I'm going to give him a little bit on this side, just eyeballing it for now. So Jim transformed, and this is the good stuff. This is where I feel like the movie is beginning because it's Jim's, Jim's uh, commitment to love. And I get stuck with these. I, I can't get caught up in that. So there, okay, so there is that. That is that, which makes sense. Hold on. I don't want him to be a robot. So if this one is this way, this has got to be this way, right? So let me see this. So I'm going to change this. Ah, it's going to change it. You know why? Because I want to feel its sh shoulders. You know, this to this type of thing. Yeah, that's 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 fun. Okay, so there it is. We re review revives, and if we're able to integrate some of the dynamics of movement of our own physiology, and then it comes down here. Okay, so that's down. So that works out here. Let me do this. Uh, I'm going to do contrary. I'm going to do this and see what happens. Because we can. And start introducing some hair back here. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we did. Yeah, yeah, do you see? I like that, that's an accident. Well, no, it's deliberate, really. So that's his big, that's the major form, and I like the way he stops here. The head's gonna be the, the, the thing. So should we, should we deal with the head? The head's gonna be, a, that's gonna be the trouble. That's gonna be the real. So what can we do about the head? Where is the head? Oh, I gotta do that. Ah, there's too many lines. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. What I'm gonna do, wait a minute, hold on, what's happening? Okay, so how do I wanna play him? So let's do the, let me see. I'm gonna box him. I'm gonna box his, the head, his, his head and see if this helps me. Just, yeah, something like this. That way, here's his nose, and the nose will act as my, an anchor to what I'm doing here. Oh, when we're animating, I just, it's hard to talk philosophy of animation, because we're concentrating. But I wanted to talk about how Jim transformed the, tr I mean, the transformation process. Hold on. And why a wolf? I mean, I know why, because it's the genre. I chose the genre, werewolves. And the wolf man, back in the 30s. Fantastic movie, so early. And where does this superstition come from? Let me, let me see what I've done. What did I do, Dilworth, dummy? 
you got the wrong drawing. And that's what happens when we're, we're doing something. Okay, so let's try it again. Now we know we're in the right spot. So I'm gonna, I like when there's a drag, his head, right, his head is here. I'm just boxing this in just to see the shape, the form play out. And then I will put my... <laughs> it's so crazy. I love seeing how these things develop. Where is his head now? There, right? So this is going to be a little tricky. See, there's a nose and a nose. So let's see if I can get away with this concept. And then we'll put in the arms. So I'm struggling here with animation, keeping the animation process going. And we're moving into color, and the color is a big deal, big commit. <laughs> uh. So this head. Yeah, maybe this head needs to be higher. Uh, yeah, angled higher. Let me just experiment. So what I was getting at is, you know, we don't have... I don't have a patron for this stuff. And color is a big, big, big line item. And it would be great if those who are able to, who wanted to help the process, the production along, to go go visit my keyframe gallery, who are, who is hosting some of my wonderful drawings my art from my films and you can you can support the film this way or or just visit the etsy shop and get some nice prints with autographs and inscriptions and that could help tremendously in getting the next stage of this production going i'm just moving the, the tools you know we're so lucky to have these Is that, is he moving too much? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, so this drawing here, I'm gonna change right here. But we wanna be careful. Let me just do this and let me just take that off. I'm gonna be careful. We wanna smooth this action out. I think we found our keys. But I wanna get into Jim's choice of transformation. I mean, he didn't have a choice. I mean, Jules bit him, bit him with the, the love bite the bite that doesn't kill, but you're doomed. You know, you're cursed. Unless you can manage the curse. And here is the, this is the big life challenge for this couple. This, you know, Romeo and Juliet. Except there's no death involved. They don't, they don't die. I just want to make sure that I get the right angle on this kid. But their love is doomed, of course, because of an act by another, her father, Jules' father, who is this kind of madman. Of course, there's always the madmen, these extraordinarily ambitious asocial types. Ho ho! That, that's going to do it. So I got the box, I got his head, and that's, that's the important thing. And it's gonna move super fast. If I just play it like this, see? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. But I'm just, this is later, this is to be developed. I just want, I want Jim to get to his, his spot. And then I also want to show you this bit of hair. This hair goes, I think this hair goes here. Let me see something. Yeah, the hair goes there. So the idea is to break these pieces, these forms up in pieces to give you the maximum control. And like a conductor in an orchestra, oh, well, we'll pick it up. 
we'll absolutely pick it up. Until next time, stay animated.